Hey everyone, it's Ludacris Shots, and I'm sorry I did not upload yesterday. I really do apologize for that. The reason for that is because I was on a trip with my family to the University of Illinois, where we go every other week or so, because my whole family went there, and my 17-year-old sister, er, yeah, I think she, yeah, 17 year old sister is gonna go there, probably. So we go there for the football games a lot, and it's a really fun time. If you guys know by my Skype picture, yeah, I had a good time. <laughs> if you're not friends with me on Skype, definitely add me. My name's Luke Chris Shots on there too. No problem, I have like 300 contacts. All my subs add me, and I love talking to them, so it's totally cool if you add me, I will talk to you. Okay, so let's get started. The tutorial today is going to be how to put a texture over your text. But first, I want to give a shout out. This is to one of my really good friends from school. Well, he's not really my like a really good friend, but he, I mean, I, I know him. I don't really talk to him that much. But um, when we do talk, we have a good time. So his name is Jake. You can call him Super J Tendo or whatever you want. And he makes intense Minecraft videos. Like they are all awesome. Uh, I don't really like the videos because I don't like Minecraft. If I did like Minecraft, I'd for sure love them. Go check out this guy. I mean, he makes so much Minecraft videos and. He doesn't get anywhere near the amount of attention he deserves. He uploads like daily for a year and he gets like one sub every five months. It's totally, it's complete BS. I don't know why he's not growing, but he really is just desperate to kind of grow for the fact that he wants more people to see his videos because he, he loves seeing those comments and likes go up. But in reality, he gets zero like zero comments on every single one and it honestly sucks. So go check out him. Uh, subscribe definitely send him a message saying I sent you saying Ludi sent me or whatever and uh, if you guys like Minecraft you'll like him so there you go Super J Tendo I hope you if you're watching this I hope you like that shadow so let's get started with this tutorial so the first thing you want to do is get some text so how are we gonna get some text well you can make it in cinema 4d or just use the text tool in Photoshop but I'm just gonna use some text I made in cinema 4d because it looks nicer and I made it just for this little tutorial so yeah I'll be doing definitely some cinema 4d tutorials later on in my YouTube journey but not at the moment I just want to keep it nice and simple right now so I'm just gonna erase this uh, what am I doing I'll just crop it out so all right once you have your text I have mine it says tutorial let's say you want to put make it look like it's wood or steel or make it look like it's kind of like a crumbled piece of paper well all you have to do is get a texture from online so just go google images search texture and you should find something that suits you uh, what i'm going to be doing what i'm going to use is i have some textures already on my computer so i'll just get one of those really quick and we'll get started so this is what a texture looks like. Uh, anything that's kind of like, well, a texture. A texture of something is the feel, the look. So steel, water, like these kind of textures. Um, anything that can like go on top of the text. So let's do something like this, like easy cracked, kind of scratched up steel. So the first thing you want to do is rotate it just so that it covers the text. It doesn't matter if it's way bigger than the text, but make sure it at least goes over the text. So it can't be this big. And what you want to do, it doesn't matter if it's turned like completely, like mine's kind of off, it's negative 91.17, but I don't care. That's totally fine, unless your texture is very specific and you need it to look like something. So what you want to do is rasterize it. This allows you to erase it and everything. It makes it a lot easier to do stuff with it. So this is what most people do. They'll go to overlay, and then they'll say, oh, that looks brilliant, and it does. But then, when you try to add a picture, um, let's take this one for example. Um, let me try to. Think. So let's say we have this picture of space. Um, obviously, I like to rasterize it every time. But now, when you look, you put it under here. The texture is overlaying everything under it. So it'll be overlaying the background. If the background was a different color, you'd be able to see it. You can see this. You can see. It's, all, it's over everything that will be under it. And we don't want that because look at, now you have to, if you don't want it on the picture, you have to go, um, you have to go to the texture layer and erase every single thing around the text. So you have to get in all these little spots and just 
groove around everything, get it like in there, get it somewhere here, and the texture will erase, but that is, ex it's impossible to get exactly precise. So if you miss, oh, I just erased it on the T, and we don't want that. So the proper way to do it is what I'm going to show you. So what we want to do is, I'm just going to turn this off so you don't see it, because you don't need to see it, and we can focus on the text. So you control click, and you go to create clipping mask. Now, what this does, here, let me show you again. So when you make it a clipping mask, it basically takes the shape of whatever object is below it. So in this case, it takes the text sh shape. So now when you, now you can just go to overlay, unless you want it to look like this, I don't see what you would. Kind of ugly looking, but yeah. And you get this, and now when you turn it back on, you can see there's nothing there. Even if you go on normal, there's still nothing there. It only takes the shape of the object below it. So basically, if you don't have it on, it's a clipping mask for everything. You know? We only want it on the